Hello, this is Spiderock, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find, download, install, and use add-ons in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Right now I'm on Minecraft 1.19.11. This should work on pretty much any Minecraft version 1.19 or later. If they do update the process and make it completely different, then I'll make a new video on it. But it's been about a year and a half, maybe two years since I've done one of these, so I think it's about time. And by the way, I will be covering how to do this on both Windows PC and mobile, both iOS and Android. If you wanna know how to do this on console, I have a separate video. I will link that in the description. The first step I'm gonna show is how to find a good add-on. If you already have the add-on that you wanna download and install, then please skip ahead to this timestamp on screen right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you where to find a good add-on. There are really only five places that I would ever recommend to look for add-ons. I mean, not literally five places, but you'll see what I mean in just a second. The number one place I think is still MCPDL, just because this is where the most add-ons are. You're just gonna have to spend a long time looking through add-ons that are probably gonna be, you know, lower quality or maybe be outdated or they just don't work. If you want to find add-ons and you're on mcpdl.com, which by the way, I will have all of these sites linked in the description, go to mods, hover over that, and then go to add-ons. If you're on mobile, I think you should be able to just tap mods and then add-ons. Anyway, now that you're on add-ons, you can look through. There's a ton of add-ons. You can sort by latest, most, most popular week, month, all time. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, plenty of good add-ons on here, plenty of mediocre to low quality add-ons, it really just depends. If you want a high quality add-on, I'd recommend both these two websites, Fatnage and Pixel Perfect. These are two websites where if you want to have an add-on on there, uh, they either reach out to you or you apply for it and you have to basically have your content verified as being good quality content. So these are both going to have really high quality good add-ons, they're also going to have my add-ons on there, which you know. I think they're high quality and good, but hey, they've got a lot of good things. They've got, you know, Lathe Laifu's stuff. Uh, this one has Vatnage's stuff. This one has Jesse 101 stuff and a bunch more stuff. These are two websites that I would definitely recommend. And there's a ton of content on here. There's a bunch of add-on packs on uh, Vatnage as well. You can also use Planet Minecraft, especially if you're an OG Minecrafter. The only add-on that I've really ever seen on here that's like... I don't know, I don't find add-ons on here much, but Angry Vader posts their add-ons on here, and these are all gonna be really good add-ons. I think this has an update that'll probably be out soon. I don't know if they're still being posted to Planet Minecraft. Honestly, I don't know, but I haven't seen, you know, bad things with Planet Minecraft, so this is a trustworthy website if you find an add-on on here. Then finally, you can find my add-on showcases playlist. All of these will link back to one of these four websites. Um, with whatever add-on I showcase. But all of these add-ons, uh, you know, of course they're my add-on showcases. I gotta plug myself a little bit. They're gonna have the good, the bad, the great, the really bad. All the information you need to know about the add-on is gonna be here. I actually have a bonus sixth place. Uh, you know, if you made it here, then welcome to my, my new website. It's just a Google site, it's nothing much. But I have my project called the add-on list. And so if you go to my, my website, my Google site, and go to the add-on list, you can find the current version of the add-on list will be here. Uh, this is my list of add-ons. I have information about the add-ons. Uh, you know, the, I'll leave a link in the description to a video on this uh, project. It's my new project. And then I've got ratings here that you can see the overall score of the add-on as well. Uh, you can also visit the list with this link and it'll take you to the actual a full document. So this is a place where you can see add-ons and information about them. You can see what's good, what's bad, things like that. One last thing I'd like to note before we download an add-on is that if you find any add-ons on websites like uh, MCDL Spot or most like add-on uh, apps, there's a lot of apps. I think MCPDL has an app or is working on an app. I'm not entirely sure and that's fine. But there's websites like MCDL Spot and stuff like that that have all these weird names. They all look the same and they basically just steal and re-upload content. So I'd really advise you to not use those websites. I'm going to go ahead and download this add-on here that looks pretty neat. It's called Pet Furniture. It adds stuff for like blocks for your pets and whatnot. And I, I don't know, I think it looks really cute and fun. Um, so I'm going to download it. There's a lot of different ways that you can download add-ons through websites like MCPDL. For example, if you go to the link to download, I'm going to open that in a new tab. Go ahead and close these out and continue to here. It's going to take me to their, uh, the website of the people that made it. And then their links are going to uh, go to uh, a Linkvertise link. And with Linkvertise, you'll just have to wait it out. Once you get to wherever you are, you'll want to download them. There's also with MCPDL, a lot of things will say access with MCPDL and you have to wait a certain amount of time. 
and then you can download them through MCPDL. If you're patient, honestly, I think this is preferable just because it's a little bit easier. Uh, you don't have to go through a lot of the process. Then you hit ready and you hit you're not a robot and then you have to wait again. You just have to wait for a while. This normally does not take this long. I don't know what's up with this. I'm gonna just download this through here. A majority of add-ons will take you to Mediafire to download unless they're like through MCPDL, which this is just too long. That's just kind of ridiculous. Um, but the you uh, sometimes the resource pack and behavior pack will be combined. Sometimes they won't. These in this case are separate. So I'm gonna download them both. Uh, I'm just gonna click the download button. If it's on Mediafire, it's fine. This isn't like one of those ad sites. This is just a place where you can upload your stuff. So as you can see, my things have downloaded. You know, I'm on Opera GX, so it just pops up like that. It'll be different depending on what you're on. What you're gonna wanna pull up now is your downloads folder. Uh, if you're on Android or something, I'm not really sure how to navigate to there, but I'm assuming you probably know how to do that, I hope. If you're on Windows, it's just like your PC and then downloads, it should be already here. I'm assuming you know how to get to a downloads folder. If you're on iOS, I recommend using Safari because when you download something, it'll redirect you to your downloads if you tap on it. But the thing, this is pretty much gonna be the same in on all of them. You'll be able to get to your downloads and you'll find your thing. So there's two ways you can kind of get this into Minecraft. If it shows up with the little Minecraft logo here, that's great. Uh, most things you can double click or double tap. If that doesn't work, we'll get to that in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and load up the resource pack. So I just double click this and it goes into Minecraft, import started and we wait for a second and it should import successfully. Yep, successfully imported pet furniture. And then for the behavior pack, I'm actually gonna show you an alternative way to do it. Um, and this way you may need to do on certain mobile devices, depending on what version you are on. You're gonna wanna go to open with or launch with or open as i think it just depends on your operating system what it's going to be uh, on windows of course it's open with and then you can use minecraft alternatively you can open things with bridge edit them in bridge which is kind of cool but there we go i've successfully imported it now to set up the add-on with a new world and i'm going to show you how to set it up with a new world and then i'm going to show you how to set it up on a world that you already have generally it's recommended to put an add-on or on a new world. You don't really wanna be changing add-ons after you've created the world. It should mostly be fine if you do. The only thing is if the add-on adds anything that will generate in your world or changes anything about how the world already is or any items that you already have, things could break and things could not work. For example, if you add a structure add-on but you've already loaded a bunch of your world, you're not gonna find those new structures unless you travel really far away. So just to check that the add-ons installed successfully, I can go to settings, then you go to storage, and then you can go to resource packs and behavior packs. So now that I go to resource packs, I can scroll through here and I hopefully I should see, yep, there we go, pet furniture. And then if I go to behavior packs as well, you can scroll through and yep, pet furniture, okay. So now I'm gonna make a new world, create new world. Uh, this is the new create new world screen. I absolutely hate it, but that's why I'm here right now to show you how to make a, make a world with add-ons. So I'm gonna call this uh, add-on tutorial for the sake of this video i'm gonna throw in the creative but you can put it on whatever i'll show you the important things i'm gonna throw on settings that i like i always like to turn cheats on in my worlds with add-ons i don't know how much of a different it makes but there are some add-ons that rely on command blocks i don't know if they would work if you don't have cheats on but i generally like to do that um and then maybe just you know, I, you know, when I do this and I play with friends, I only allow myself to have the permissions and that's not out of greed, that's out of, I'm not gonna use it and then nobody else will use it too. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but here's the important part, resource packs and behavior packs. Now, if I have one tip, it's to start with the behavior pack. So a lot of add-ons, not every add-on will do this, but a lot of add-ons have dependencies where one pack relies on another pack. And typically, how it will work is if you add the behavior pack, it'll automatically add the resource pack. If it doesn't, you can do that uh, on your own and it's not too bad. But I went ahead and I found pet furniture. You can see here it is. It's in my behavior packs. Uh, it's in my available section. There's nothing active right now, but it's in the available tab. I'm going to hit activate on this and you can see it's gone from the available. Now it's on the active tab. Now if I go to resource packs, it's automatically on the active tab. However, since this add-on adds in custom blocks, uh, 3D blocks that are bigger than one by one by one, uh, I'm gonna add a block geofixer. There's a ton of different block geofixer add-on type things. Most of them are just resource packs. Some of them have behavior packs. There's a bunch of different ways that people have found to fix it. I believe this add-on has one that it recommends that you use that you it's linked with it. I don't know if it is this one or is not. This is just the one that I have installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate this as well. If it asks you to add any external packs, things to fix things, go ahead and do them. Otherwise it might not properly work. 
Now we're going to want to go to the most important thing aside from just adding the add-ons, which is the experiments tab all the way on the left of the bottom left. You're going to want to turn on pretty much every experimental feature. Different add-ons require different features. I can't tell you what ones are going to be needed for the add-on that you're putting on. A lot of my different add-ons require different experimental features. Some features used to be experimental and art. What I always do, and this is my this is my piece of advice and I'll, I'll cover everything here, is I turn on every experimental feature that you can turn on. Spectator mode is probably the one that you're not, most add-ons aren't going to rely on. Some of these are going to be needed for some add-ons. Uh, most, I don't think custom biomes even work anymore, so I don't know why this is here. I know education edition used to be listed here. I guess it's not anymore, but um, that one's also some add-ons require it, some add-ons don't. I generally don't turn that one on unless I know an add-on needs it. But as of right now, I don't think any of these regularly will crash the game or mess anything up. So I would turn all of these on. If there is a uh, experimental setting that's known for causing issues with Minecraft, then just don't turn it on unless you know the add-on requires it. But for now, I think all of these, like I've, I've had a ton of worlds with all of these on and I haven't had any issues aside from issues brought from the add-ons themselves. So now this add-on this add-on tutorial world is ready to go. So I'm just gonna hit create and then you wait for a second. Something I would like to mention is the more add-ons you have on Minecraft, the longer it's gonna take to load. Not just load into the game from making a world or joining a world, but also to literally load Minecraft. I had, you know, 60 something add-ons and then 100 add-ons and that's behavior packs and resource packs and my game took like 10 minutes to open even though it's on an SSD. So as you can see if we go into our creative inventory we have all of these new blocks. So add-ons do work and uh, everything here I showed you I was online. Um, yeah, no, we, we have all of these new, all of these new blocks and everything. Pet doors, I, I really like that, that's, a, that's an interesting feature. Ah, okay. That's actually kind of interesting. I don't know entirely how that works, but if I didn't put on the geo fixer thing, a lot of these, actually this add-on might have uh, custom geometry fixing stuff implemented to it, but assuming it didn't, uh, which a lot of add-ons with 3D blocks don't, for example, I don't have a thing built into my uh, AMC money add-on, you have to install a geometry fixer separately. Now I'm gonna show you how to add them to a pre-existing world. So generally, if you have a world that's not, doesn't have experimental features on, then it's gonna ask you to make a copy once you enable the experimental features. I'm gonna be adding this to a world that does have experimental features on, which is my add-on showcase area. This is where I showcase all of my add-ons, all of the add-ons that I showcase. So what I always do is I always copy the world. It's always good to have a backup before you put add-ons on because you never really know that if an add-on's gonna mess something up. Sometimes add-ons are a little broken, things like that. So go ahead, go through here, double check that all of your experimental features are on. This is gonna look different if you're adding them to a pre-existing world because this has the original actually good looking menu. I don't know why they changed it. This is a perfectly nice and normal and functional menu that I really like. Make sure all your settings are good, all your all your experiments are on, and then with this all you have to do is click it and click activate and then click continue. It'll say turn off achievements and it'll be activated here and then the resource pack should be here too and then I'm going to scroll through my packs find my geometry fixer, and there we go, I'm good to go. Okay, and as you can see, all of my stuff is here and it's working. This is how I set up all my uh, my add-on videos. I just make a copy of the world, throw these on. One last thing I wanna show you uh, before I end off the video is how to delete an add-on. Let's say you're like me, you have a billion add-ons on your uh, computer and you wanna get rid of some of them. You're gonna wanna go back to that storage place where you see your resource packs and behavior packs. Turn on multi-select. Open the resource packs first. I don't know, you can do behavior packs first, it doesn't matter. And scroll down until you find your uh, add-on. Then once it's checked, you're gonna wanna scroll up and find your behavior pack and do the same thing, pet furniture, and then you can just hit delete, delete, and they're gone. But anyway, that's how you can install, use, activate, whatnot with your add-ons. I hope that you learned something in this video and I hope you have fun playing with add-ons and whatnot. Thanks for watching if you made it here. See you later and goodbye. Bye.